So today, April 24th, 2020, we celebrate the 30th anniversary of the Hubble Space Telescope. So here to talk with me about this historic milestone is Dr. Elena Savi, an astrophysicist at the Space Telescope Science Institute. Hello, Elena, how are you? Hello, hi, I'm so excited to be here. Great milestone. Definitely. Um, so first off, to commemorate this anniversary, Hubble released a brand new image of two nebulas in the Large Magellanic Cloud. And I'm just curious kind of what you think about this image. This image is amazing. It's really showing how powerful Hubble is. It showed that 30 years were nothing for this telescope. And so today it has the sharpest eyes it ever had. And you can see that this is a wide region of star formation where clouds of gas are feed, were feeding star formation and formed a hundred of stars that are 10 to 20 times more massive than our sun. And these stars are incredibly powerful engines that are releasing a huge amount of radiation and light. And so they are heating the gas that glows in red and blue. And then they are blowing it away, creating cavities and uh, vortex. And then this image also show that it is very, very hard to be a star in a star cluster. So one of the most massive stars that was 50 times more massive than the sun has been kicked from the nursery and it's now zooming through the Magellanic cloud at 46,000 miles per hour. And this star is approaching the end of its life. So it's already losing its external envelope. And it is the blue ring of gas that you see around the bright blue stars in the lower corner. That was the atmosphere of the stars that was expelled through a very strong pulsation. So some of stars are already dying in this region, but many, many more are just emerging from their cradle. And you can see them in the bright red and orange globals across the image and on top of huge pillar of dust and gas. So if you really want to appreciate the image, you should go to the uh, nasa.gov slash Hubble image and really see how great the image is. Definitely, I agree. People should go look at it, go look at it. Um, so Hubble seemed to really revolutionize how we both view and understand the cosmos. So as an astrophysicist who works at the Space Telescope Science Institute, what does this anniversary mean to you? Uh, for me, it's amazing. I've been following Hubble since the beginning. First as, as another kid, but then I've been the honor to work there. And so Hubble told us with incredible precision how old the universe is. And now we know that it is 13.8 billion years old. And then before Hubble, we didn't know that there is a very strange thing in the universe that is called dark energy. We don't understand it, but this thing is causing not only the expansion, but the acceleration of the expansion of the universe. And then Hubble showed that there are huge black holes inside of galaxies and that there are planets orbiting around other stars. We see how these, star how these planets are forming right now around stars. This is all thanks to Hubble and its incredible sharp eyes. Definitely. Um, so you mentioned a couple of different discoveries that were enabled by Hubble, and I'm curious if you have a favorite Hubble discovery. Well, I, def I study how stars form, so definitely being able to see these incredible rings of dust around stars and that one day this will become planet has been incredibly exciting for me. Absolutely. Um, so I'm just also curious along those same lines, I mean, Hubble has taken so many unbelievable images of the cosmos. And if there are any images that are near and dear to your heart and that you that are your favorites. Yeah, well, there are two regions that are really, really my favorite. One is the Tarantula Nebula. It's one of the most powerful regions of star formation we have. It is in another galaxy, but thanks to Hubble, we can see it in great detail. And it is almost similar to the incredible explosion of stars that we see at high redshift. And then another region of star formation in our galaxy is called Westerlund 2, not a great name, but it's really a beautiful image. It was so beautiful that it was used for the 25th anniversary. And so wow. yes, th those are my favorite uh, images of Hubble. Definitely. Um, so 30 years after it launched, Hubble is still going strong. I'm curious what you see uh, for the future of Hubble. Yes, Hubble is doing great because uh, after we refurbished it uh, nine years ago, uh, 10 years ago, now we have two new camera and these cameras were built so that everything on them is redundant. If something breaks, it means that we can switch on the other side and continue to operate them. And so we think that we will 
probably have Abel for another five to ten years, and it will have great, it will give us great discoveries. And then next year we're going to launch James Webb. It's a different telescope. It will look at different parts of, of the electromagnetic spectrum. So it will give us different perspective of the properties of stars and galaxies, and it will see the, the early universe. And combining what Hubble can see with this telescope, it will be amazing. We will have a brand new perspective of the universe. Definitely. So you mentioned James Webb, um, and that actually brings me to, to kind of my last question. Um, you know, obviously James Webb is kind of a successor to Hubble, but Hubble is still alive and well and, and doing great, great observations. But it's been 30 years since Hubble launched, and we are making huge strides towards bringing James Webb out, towards kind of advancing the way that we observe the universe. I'm curious what you think and hope space observations will look like in another 30 years. Oh, in another 30 years, an incredible time, because uh, we are planning already to build the next generation of telescopes, and those will be huge. We are hoping to have uh, a telescope that can see in the ultraviolet and in the uh, infrared, as Hubble does, but at a much greater resolution and, and having a possibility of looking farther away than Hubble and Webb. So 30 years will be from now will be an incredible time to be an astronomer. Definitely. Well, I can't wait. Um, and thank you again so much for, for celebrating this anniversary with me. I really appreciate it. Thank you for having me.